if this is going to happen in the bottom right hand corner from Imaginary Gaming, a red Protoss player. Well moved. And in the upper left, the blue Zerg from Team Extreme Supremacy. Slivko, aka Steelmaker. It's kind of like, it's kind of weird because he's been going by the name Steelmaker for so long now, right? Like, for so long. But pretty much everyone still calls him Slivko. Like, if I, were, if I were him, I was like trying to make a point or changing my name or something, I'd be like, at this point, I'd be like, nope, I'm done. I've had enough trying. I'll just go back to Slivko. Everyone calls me anyway. He's got some serious dedication to the name change. Coda here for map number four. And, um, I mean, Wellmu, he's been destroying Protoss after Protoss after Protoss. Maybe give Wellmu a not Protoss at Quick Circ in the chat. And that's exactly what they have done here. But, I mean, well. Let's see, well, I guess it depends how good it is what Slivko's ZVP. Team Extreme Supremacy came in as really promising candidates um, this season for the Team League. Uh, after just missing out, or just making the Team League's uh, playoffs last season. It was one of the two, I actually really can't remember. Who would they have lost to? I'm very quickly going to BBM and tab out to check. Um, season 3, I'm pretty sure they did make it, right? No, they just missed out of college by a single map score point. It was very close. They just missed out last season. They were very promising candidates coming in to uh, make the playoffs this season um, when we came into this, but um, I mean, they've already been eliminated. They've lost so many matches. They don't have much to play for anymore. Um, just pride. To give you guys an idea about the matches coming up in the next few days, as we have a pretty slow start to this PVZ. Let's very quickly run through the matches which will be coming up in the next few days. So um, let's uh, just See if that works. Looks as though it did. Um, so it's the 25th today. So tomorrow we have um, nothing interesting. Nothing exciting. Just a gasp being taken for Slivko, by the way. Okay, so tomorrow we have uh, starting from 6 p.m. CET Team Liquid versus Connor G Sports. At 9 p.m. CET, we'll go into Team Baguette versus Team Red Bloods. At 1 a.m. CET, we'll have Mind Sanity versus Root. So a very sick game day of games tomorrow. Wait. Okay, yeah, okay. Then the day after we have AT Gaming vs Dignitas Dead Pixels, Root vs Gravity, and I feel like something else which hasn't gone on the calendar, because I have, because I feel as though someone told me about something, but I don't know what it is, um, but I guess I'll deal with that another time. Alright, anyways. Um, so probe coming in here from Wellmu, um, into this base, and uh, we'll just be, man, he's just been there, uh, off around the map, scouted out the uh, gas from Slivko, and that's about it. And it was just 100 gas mined by Slivko here, so speed will be able to start up, and we'll see what he wants to go from there. He actually pulls that drone, decides to pull that drone out of gas now, not wanting to go too much further past 100. He kept it in, um, as the one worker, after he mined um, 100, and then mined 8 more, and then he was like, no, okay, we've had enough of this. It's really bothering me now because I'm sure there should have been more matches written down for Saturday, but I'm not sure. On Sunday as well, we have some great matches: Team MIA against Mind Sanity, Team MIA against Imaginary Gaming, AT Gaming versus One Step Ahead as well, which should be awesome. I wonder if um, it's Imaginary Gaming match this. Anyway, I, I need to uh, run through my Skype quickly and try and figure that out later. Um, anyways, let's get my windows back up in the right order and perhaps talk about this game. We're six minutes in, which is basically the point of the game where PVZ begins to become a little bit more interesting. And, um, well, by more interesting, we mean some gateways get added on at the front door. But very shortly, we should be starting to see some tech uh, tech coming in from Wellmu, see what sort of direction he wants to take this game in. Um, third hatch on the way up here from Slivko, and, um, Hatch at the natural coming up as well. But no, that doesn't make any sense. That at the natural is already here, but that the hatch at the natural is saturated. That's one of those moments where you just start going to say something on autopilot. Well, I think of something else to say, and then I realize that what I'm saying is absolutely complete nonsense. Robo facility for Wellmu. So very interesting. No forge, no bling, uh, or anything like that. Um, just a robo facility. So straight into this here, and it's not like it's a super duper early robo facility either. He's gonna be interesting to see what he does with this. It's a little bit late for an immortal all in, really, especially an immortal all in without upgrades. So I wonder if he just takes a third base with immortals or something like that. Um, 
There's a possibility. Or maybe he just goes for a mortal in anyway. Well, okay, that's our answer. Yes, he will. This feels really late for a mortal in though, right? Like, I guess he goes with two. He'll move out when, like, nine-ish minutes? With two immortals and a warpism? Feels very late. I mean, usually immortal lines, we see the robot facility come down like 5.30 or something along those lines. Um, especially off of like a gate first. I, I guess... Mm, mm. Yeah, it just feels weird. Mm, maybe I'm just being a little bit... I might just be silly. Maybe. Perhaps. Could be. Anyway, so we've got immortal line coming in, I guess. Um, what if the previous doesn't really matter anymore? And it's a lot of gateways, guys. It's eight gateways in total. So, I mean, this is fully all in. It's, Lucinate Oracle comes in towards the main base and looks to get some kills, starts flying away and we'll just check out the natural as well, wants to try and see what's going on right now. Second mortal out and there's that warpism coming up. So again he's gonna leave just about that 830 mark. The Slifkus he sees this for a zerg and he sees a uh, immortal at the front and I kinda feel he's over drone. I don't think he was expecting this at all. He's on 66 drones, which is a hell of a lot of drones to go up against an all-in with. Uh, and especially one which is gonna be hitting at the nine minute mark. I guess, I guess, I mean, this is the right time, right? Like, nine minutes, hit with the Mort Sentry. I'm just being silly. He's got a lot of Sentries, of course, in this, and, um, as he moves across the map, well, Slifko just has to prepare. He's got a lot of Lings, which do have speed now. He's got a few Rojas starting to come out as well, so Spankle has been started here. As he's supposed to come down the ramp and decide whether or not they actually want to go into this. Well, Rosen has walked in the next wave of units. Wemu doesn't really want to fight until he has um, a few more warpins, he has his pylon set up so he can use the warpism as a way to uh, micro the immortals instead of a way to um, warp in units with. Slivko wants to set up, um, he's got spine crawls on the way but he's not actually fighting near them apparently, uh, well he isn't just yet, as he's actually going to get a pretty good surround here, five rogers from the back uh, the back right side of this uh, fight, he will get taken down very quickly, uh, warpism picks up that immortal and that's a they control to keep that alive. Slivko still seems to have a fair amount here, but these immortals, once the Zerglings die, they're going to just start chewing through these um, roaches so, so quickly. And there's a hell of a lot of sentries left over as well, and it looks as though this might be a very quick push up the ramp and victory here for Wilmu. And as he comes up, he's going to just um, pop a couple of force fields onto the natural, and um, an immortal getting lifted up, popping back down, a couple more sentries being walked in. And this is a dead third base, and probably some dead hopes for any Team Extreme Supremacy supporters, for any Team Extreme Supremacy player at this point, such as Slifko is hoping to maybe try and win this game. And this looks as though this game shall be well used to lose at this point. Although he's starting to run out of units. Um, last couple of force fields coming down to block this ramp a little bit longer. He's immortal still around, walking in more zealots, because I guess the roach count is decreasing, so I guess he's just trying to tank drones. I mean, yeah, there's, there's no real way back into this for Slipko, I don't think. He's, he's still not lead up this army. There's still a significant amount of pros over here in the end. Um, it looked a little bit scary for a couple of moments, and it's like, nope, I've got eight gateways, lol, lol, lol. And um, obviously this army was twice as large again. Coming up this ramp, this is going to be pretty much Slipko's last defense. As a couple of force fields come down here. The, again, the immortals just chew through these roaches and the uh, spine core so, so quickly. Game is called, and well new. Takes game number four and the series for imaginary gaming, a very quick all kill. And um, finishes it, closes it out just like that. Claw back.